Hi guys and welcome to Minecraft with Buddy1927. Today we're going to be talking about cactus and there's a couple ways you can actually grow it yourself. Um, I'm going to first show you how to grow it and manually uh, harvest it. Then I'm actually going to build a um, contraption or a automatic cactus farmer that will automatically cac capture the cactus um, and hold it for you, even put it into a chest for you. So let's go ahead and start talking about cacti. Um, you can grow cactus in a regular form, just like you can uh, pumpkins, wheat, melons, and stuff like that, but it takes time for it to grow, then you gotta harvest it and then replant it. Um, and with a cactus cart, cactus only grows, does not grow in dirt, it only grows in sand. So you gotta make, you gotta have a field of sand to harvest your cactus. There's another thing that you can't do with cactus. You can't put it side by, on, uh, we're in creative mode right now. You can't put cactus on these four sides. You can't put them diagonally which if you're manually harvesting is great but um, sometimes as they're growing they kill each other and you lose cactus or every other block in your cactus farm and you can watch it grow and harvest it when it's actually all done. The other way you can grow cactus is by a automatic harvester. I built one in my episode, my Minecraft episodes that I do in the city I'm building. And when I was doing the recording, something happened and it really wasn't that good and I didn't feel like building another one. So um, I'm make, building another one in there. So I came to this creative world where we can actually fly and make it a lot easier for me to grow. Now a cactus farm, automatic farmer, has to be at least three blocks high. We are actually going six blocks high. And what we're going to do is we're going to make a frame that is 13 by 13. And I built this platform so I can get up and down and then I realized, wait a minute, I'm in the creative world. I can fly. But I'm going to use it. Okay. Now, this is 13 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 blocks. So we want to make I still haven't figured out all these flying controls because I don't not much here on here. But you want to be 13 blocks out. So that's block 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and then, as you can see, I've not mastered flying on this thing. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then 13 out this way. Okay, we got 13 by 13. Next, what we want to do is um, go one block down and make a basin. and you can keep it um, that rim and circle. What this is going to be is where all the water is going to be. Now cactus does not need water to grow. So one of the things now you can use any solid surface here to retain the water. You can even use glass blocks. But um, 
I'm using stone on this one. In in my city, I actually used um, uh, birch birch wood to make it. Anything that's solid, you have some leaking because. That's because the way it is. But it won't be geysers. Once you get this blocked in. And let's get rid of that one right there. We're going to start. Um, now you can fill this in with water right now. I'm going to wait until um, I get everything set up because it's a lot easier. Trust me. Um, what you want to do is get some dirt, maybe other block. the other block you just want to fill this in because and you should end up with 36 total so that way I screwed up somewhere. Hang on a second, guys. I gotta correct something. So. Okay, as you can see, we got every other block filled out. And well, cactus does not grow. Cactus grows on sand, but sand does not stay at a certain height. And what we will end up doing is once the um, once we fill this up with water, we're going to remove all this dirt. So what I'm going to do is use stone for the second block here, and on top of all these dirt, so. That's a solid surface. So I'm going to cap all these dirt with um, stone or whatever any solid surface that will hold sand and we can stay and hold itself up in the air. I'm just using stone because that's what we use for the um, basin. Next what we'll do is we'll put sand on top of everything here. And you see why I'm not um, why it's a little bit easier to, once we get down there to do this before you put the water in. You, you can put the water in at any any time, but wait until your structure is at least complete. I found that out the hard way because trying to work while the water is running it's not working too well okay now what we need to do is put cacti cactus
kind of don't box yourself in when you're doing this. I forgot I'm in creative mode so I can actually fly and just put the cactus in. Okay, what we need now is to remove all these dirt underneath the columns. Tried it with the water going, it will collect all the dirt for you. But you'd be s swimming up the current and all that. Okay, let's make sure all the dirt's out. I don't see any, so that looks good. That looks good. And what we need to do is we need to put a sec uh actually forget that. First what we need to do is put cutters in and making sure that um we have everything done. Okay, oh, I have something going on with my computer, so I'm back. What we need to do is get cutters. Um, I kind of screwed up. I should have put the cutters in before I put in. You go too high and one cross there. Before I put the cacti in, I screwed up. I forgot that. But this will help cut cut the um, cactus when it gets there. You need to put signs on all four sides because um, cactus can actually be destroyed if it touches the stone. But if you put a sign there, and you can put it, you can put writing in there, or you don't have to. But um, what that does, the sign is like an air pocket, so we'll cut it, won't harm the cactus, and the cactus won't harm the um, sign, or break the sign. So, And since we're in creative mode, I'm flying, just making it a, lot, a little easier for myself. And make sure you do that on all four sides. That will actually cut the cactus when it grows to the second height and this automatically fall down. And I thought that would destroy the cactus, but I put a, a um, stone on top of it. Well, what the sign does is it cuts it when it goes to the second height and actually that's what I thought and I was absolutely wrong. Okay, next what you need to do is put water in all four corners of the basin. So we got one there, we got one there. Make sure you put it in the four corners of the basin because what happens is the water will run down. Okay. And as you can see, we have a dry diamond area in the center here. And what we want to do is be able to put 
Um, what we're going to do is actually cut cut the um, stones out that are the dry stones. Water won't flow down because that's where they, it stops. And we got a nice center here. And what we want to do is put still in that diamond shape area. fill in this diamond shape area. So we get to hole right in the center. Okay. And what we're gonna do here is actually put a sign to keep the water from coming down. So we'll go back up Evidently, you killed chicken. Oh, but as you can see, our farm is actually growing. And while we're down here, we want to put a channel down here so we can catch the water. that we're going to use. I'm actually going to break this one for right now, temporarily. And what we're going to do is what I'm going to use is actually a um, a harper. Put the harper right there and right below the harper I'm going to put two chests. Then what I'm going to do is actually actually I can just do this. So that closes off the cha all the water channels right down to the harper to the chest. What we need to do is go back up top. Go to the dry area as it still is dry. And what we need to remove is these eight stones. And we do so. It'll flow everything down to the center. have all our water going right to this one point and when the cactus comes down it comes down now what we need to do is put the cutter for the outside ridge and the cutter is going to be a glass wall too high across so when the outside cactus grows gets cut and this ensures that the cactus falls inwards instead of outwards. Because this layer here is what's going to cut it. And this is going to make sure that when it cuts it, it doesn't fall that way. It falls this way. cactus is caught up. It's cut and cut and filtered right into the water. And the water is what's going to move the cacti. Now it's not a fast 
fast moving thing, so sometimes it takes a while, especially from the outside, to get. Cut and down to the side. Actually, maybe I should start doing all my builds this way. Let's build a city right here. Now, why do you want a cactus farm? Well, cactus can be used for decoration, cactus can be eaten. This can also be turned into green dye, which is the reason why I have it. So that way I can go ahead and harvest the cactus and make green dye out of it. And what the harper does, once the harper's filled, will fill, go down into the Oh, I know one thing I forgot. Very important. And as you can see, the water, it, the cactus will come right down in here. I forgot to fill that section, that's my fault. And the cactus would be caught here and then filtered down into. Uh, be filtered down into the chest. Now, as you can see, so far our cactus has only grown two high and one high, still hasn't grown that high. But as as cactus grows, it hits the cutters, drops drops cactus down below, and as as you can see, all the water that's rushing right into it and makes the cactus go down to the tube, down through the um, waterfall, into the harper, and eventually into the chest. So this way you don't have to um, worry about this going down into a pool down below because your cacti only will once only blocks that are not being used or have been cut or anything like that actually have um, a timeline when it, when you can pick it up which is five minutes so after five minutes it disappears and as you can see it's cut the cacti and with this set up with the cutters right there as soon as it grows to second height it gets cut and fallen in And there goes one right down, down there. And this way, you get cacti. So let's take a look. I got two cacti so far in the harper. Once the harper gets filled, it, it, it trickle down into the um, chest, and we should be all set. So, that is not too bad. Ah, the chicken duck. That's how I got that feather. It touched the cactus. So, that is the cactus farm. Automatic cactus farm or the manual cactus farm. Whichever one you want to do. Just remember the automatic cactus farm will, the way I have it set up, will store the cactus so it doesn't disappear and it keeps on going and going and going 24 7 or while you're playing the game it stops when you exit it but this way you can collect cactus and when you need it it's there in the chest all you have to do you know if you want go ahead and get the cactus moved from that chest over to like in my 
in my real world it will go into my storage area then be turned into green dye so um, if you like this video please like us on YouTube if you have any comments about this video please leave your comments down below on my YouTube page and if you haven't done yet subscribe to my channel now right after this video there will be um, an area where you can subscribe check out my older tanks um, playlist or check out my minecraft playlist catch up on some of the videos you haven't seen yet so check them out all you have to do is click it and it will automatically send you to that page so I'd like to thank you for watching and you all have a good day